our final presenter can currently be seen on Broadway in Boys in the... That was you. That was me, but keep Sorry. going. You're okay. In Boys in the Band. <laughs> Please, Please welcome, welcome Zachary, Zachary Quinto. Quinto. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm really happy to be here, but you're probably happier that I'm here because it means we've reached the end of the evening. Congratulations to all the nominees and all the recipients tonight. Uh, Shakespeare said that the play is the thing, and he wasn't kidding. Uh, theater holds a mirror up to our society, reflecting the good, the bad, the ugly, as well as the breathtaking, the universal, and the extraordinary. Each of this year's nominated plays delved deep and presented audiences with pure gold in the form of unique points of view on the human experience. The nominees for Outstanding Play are... Cost of Living, produced by Manhattan Theatre Club in association with the Williamstown Theatre Festival. Written by Martina Majok. Miles for Mary, produced by Playwrights Horizons. Written by Mark Bovino, Joe Kernut, Michael Dalto, Lila Neugebauer, and Stephanie Wright Thompson. Pipeline, produced by Lincoln Center Theater, written by Dominique Morisseau. Schoolgirls, or the African Mean Girls Play, produced by MCC Theater, written by Jocelyn Bio. The Treasurer, produced by Playwrights Horizons, written by Max Posner. And the recipient of the 2018 Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Play is a tie. <laughs> Cost of Living and Schoolgirls of the African Union Girls Club. <laughs> Okay, um, Martina Mayok uh, could not be here tonight. Um, uh, she had to get to JFK, so um, she asked me if I would um, read some things for her. Um, Girl, you look amazing. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's not it. It's something else. Uh, Martina wishes that she could have stayed, but she had to race the airport. Uh, she's really glad that I was here to speak on her behalf because Although she acts like she's like all tough and hard and like Jersey and stuff. Um, she cries at parades and speeches and the movie Coco. Um, this is really probably for the best, seriously. Uh, Martina wants you all to know that she is incredibly grateful to be part of this community and to thank you for her place at this table. Thank you to Williamstown Theater Festival, Manhattan Theater Club for opening your doors to this story, for your commitment to being unafraid. Amen. Thank you to our cast, to Joe Bonnie, and to everyone that was involved, Jolie, Rebecca, Wendell, Victor, Greg, and of course, Katie Sullivan. Um, <laughs> Katie, you can cry here. Some of these folks paid money to be here. You're the 11 o'clock number. Great. Okay, sorry. Screwed that up. Um, thank you, every single person who's committed to some piece of their lives with telling this story. Working on this play with you was all one of the best joys of my life. Thank you to Josiah, my husband. I love you so much. Thank you for always being there for her, not for me. I love you too, but that's weird. Um, thank you, everyone, for sharing these stories and uh, giving her a chance to share these stories. Thank you so much for just listening. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the Lucille Lortel Foundation. I'm like, I can't even. Um, I write um, comedic plays uh, based in Africa so you can understand how it was really difficult journey for me uh, to get produced. And so I'm so grateful to MCC and namely to Jessica Chase for fighting for this play, so thank you. Um, thank you to my uh, incredible team at UTA, my agent, Rachel, who literally when she signed me, when, when she signed me, she said, I get you, I believe in you, and I'm gonna figure out how to get all of New York theater to believe in you too. And that is all that a playwright ever wants to hear, so thank you so much. Um, thank you to Rebecca Tashman, who really is an incredible director, a smart, dramaturgical, incredible person, and really this play would not be what it is without her. And to, it, lastly, to my amazing cast and crew of schoolgirls, you all are so incredible, and Mamiya Bafo has been on this journey with me since the very first reading, and I'm just so grateful to be able to share this with her tonight. And to my family, and my everyone, and my boyfriend, and my best friend, and who told me that it takes a long time for things to happen quickly and truly. That really is the truth. Thank you.